That's the very first single from our special guest this afternoon on Off the Beaten Path podcast. That is sitting on a tailgate for Mr. J.J. Lawhorn. J.J., what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Just sitting here pumping gas, trying to throw, throw, this, uh, throw the rest of this fuel in this year vehicle and run back to band rehearsals, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the song was playing. J.J. had to run in, put $5 on the tank, get himself a can of Skull, and come back all within the time that that song played. That was crazy, man. Yeah, it was pretty pretty nuts. I'm, I'm getting pretty used to uh, running around like like a chicken with his head cut off. <laughs> I guess that's what the music business does to you. It keeps you multitasking. Oh, yeah, keeps you man. busy. Dude, if you uh, if you can't get used to it real quick, then uh, you can get gone. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, again, another guy who's uh, you, you're probably doing doing a lot of work with this guy. He's kind of one of the bigger names over at Average Joe's, but he's definitely pulling everybody else up with him. He he doesn't want to be in the only spotlight. Uh, you've, you've done touring with this guy. You've been writing with this guy. Heck, he even appeared on one of his songs on his most recent album. Uh, we're talking about Colt Ford. What's it like working with Colt Ford, you know, being such a different kind of guy that he is? Man, Colt, you know... Colt is a Colt's an anomaly, man. <laughs> you know, he he's. I just say this about him, man. You know, the reason why I I, I mean, I don't do country rap, man. You know, I don't rap. I just I write songs and I sing and whatnot. But you know, I, the reason why I, I dig what Colt does is, is because of the fact that you know, even though it's different, you know, he's doing his own thing. It's not really uh, the cookie cutter. Uh, Nashville sound and whatnot, you know, he, he's just a real dude, and, you know, he lives the stuff that he talks about, and uh, he's just, he's just as real as it gets, man, he, you know, he'd sit there and stack of autographs, you know, the size of the dictionary or whatever <laughs> right. he wanted them to, and and he's just, hey, he, he loves to let people, you know, his fans and everybody else know that, that he genuinely appreciates you know what they do supporting him and uh yeah man he's just a he's just a real guy man he doesn't have an ego he's not concerned about the money and and all that other crap he's just he's not in, in it for the materialist thing man he just he just likes like you said man he just he don't he don't necessarily you know want to be the star he just wants to be a part of the show and and uh he's just real he's a humble dude you know and even though he doesn't sing, you know, I can still I can still relate to what he's doing because, you know, he's, it's just a different, a unique way of saying the same thing. Absolutely. You know yeah, absolutely. That that totally makes sense. You were out on tour with him. The answer to no one tour was named after the song that you appeared on. Uh, you know, that was that, that had been kind of cool doing the tour with him for a while. For sure, yeah, man. It was, uh, it was a blast. I went out for like two months and... Uh, you know, hit all went up and down the West Coast, Cali, you know, Arizona, freaking all the way up to Idaho and Colorado, all these places, man. It was it was cool, man. It was definitely definitely an experience for sure. And it, it and it didn't stop with Colt. It looks like you, sir, have got a lot of tour dates coming up yourself. You got a. Uh, I'm looking at your current when I see dates in August, July, January, even. That's I mean, you're you're planned way out now. Yeah, man, we're uh, we're getting everything all put together. Took a little while because I'm a broke white boy <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. You know, I'm 19. Not that that's an excuse, but you know, it just took me a little while to get my get my funds right so we could get all 
you know, my musicians, man, they got to they gotta eat and they got to pay bills too. So Absolutely. I got to pay them every time we go out. So I got to have the money to be able to do that. And it's kind of crazy, you know, trying to get your foot in the door and uh, trying to get a find a club who's going to pay you enough money where you can cover your expenses, you know, and, and get them to kind of stick their neck out a little bit and say, okay, well, you know, this dude ain't Blake Shelton. He ain't going to pack my bar, but you know, I'll give this dude a chance or whatever. So, you know, you kind of have to pay your dues a little bit and, and scratch it out. And sometimes, you know, I lose a couple thousand dollars going out and playing places because, you know, I, like I said, it's all about getting your foot in the door because I know if I can get up in there one time, you know, they listen to the show. They, you know, they'll, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I mean, <laughs> good chance more or less that they're going to have me back another time oh yeah you know and uh we rock out and whatnot but it's just you know it's just about getting that opportunity to come and and uh let them come and you know let them uh give you a chance to get in their bar or venue or whatever it is club and whatnot and rock out and really show them what you're what you're doing and develop a relationship with that venue owner and and uh yeah it just kind of become business partners make it beneficial for them and make it beneficial for you too you know absolutely and now it's time sir for us to uh do the as i call it the pimp yourself go ahead man tell us uh tell us where we can find you on twitter on facebook on youtube yeah man uh i've got i've got all that social media stuff i've got twitter i got i mean <laughs> i got twitter twitter issue. uh i got twitter it's at jj lawhorn music Oh, uh, that's two J's, law like you're running from the law, <laughs> horn like you're laying on the horn. And then Facebook.com slash JJ Lawhorn Music. And then uh, YouTube, it's YouTube.com slash JJ Lawhorn Music. Yeah, it's pretty easy uh, across the board, it seems. Yeah, man. Uh, just two J's, law like you're running from the law, horn like you're laying on the horn. There you go. And. And, and like I said earlier, he does respond, folks. You wanna you wanna tweet at him, he'll yeah, respond man, right to you. I mean, I get all I get on all that stuff now. I, I didn't used to be very good at it because I, you know, I, I'm technologically impaired. That's what I tell people. <laughs> I, I grew up. I might have grown grown up in like techno technology era or whatever, but you know, I definitely uh, still a little bit behind on that. I. I <laughs> grew up in the middle of nowhere so uh you know be patient with me and i might respond like right then and there whatever but you know i'll do the best that i can and i will get back to you for sure absolutely and now now let's talk about the new one the new single that you got out it's stomping ground man I, again played it here love it tell us a little bit about the story man uh stomping ground is a song that we decided to uh, make a single for the the reason that, you know, there's a lot of songs out there about, you know, where you're from and being proud of it and whatnot, but the song puts a, 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 you know, unique spin on, you know, the whole where I come from sort of scene. You know, it just basically talks about all the stuff, you know, remembering all the things that you did growing up in a small town and, and how... You know, your town and where you're from kind of helps shape who you are. And um, I feel like people are really latching on to it because of the reason that it's like, you know, even if you don't drive a pickup truck or wear camouflage or you're not from the south or you're not a redneck or whatever, you know, you can still you can still close your eyes and know, know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, if there's one thing that everybody, no matter where you're from, has in common – you know, it's being proud of where you're from and, and, you know, just kind of knowing how, where you're from kind of shapes who you are. And, and you know, like I said, man, you just, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, the majority of the people, you know, they like uh, their hometown, like whether it's the football team they root for, you know, or they, you know, something about, something about where they're from that they can just kind of, you know, be proud of, man. And Absolutely. That's that's just kind of the whole theme, you know, behind why we picked the song and 
you know, when I was writing that song, I didn't really, didn't really take into consideration, uh, you know, how everybody could really be able to relate to it. Mm-hmm. You know, in that moment in time, I wasn't writing the song so it could be like a universal, you know, theme song for people who are proud of where they're from. It wasn't, it wasn't like that, you know. I just kind of put my own experiences and kind of just put my spin on, on how it is for me and me knowing completely different. Exactly. You know? So... I mean, I, and I feel like if if you're from, I mean, I feel like everybody is proud of where they're from, and if they aren't, you know, that's why they freaking move. Exactly. <laughs> you know yeah. But if you're living where you're from, and and you know, you grew up there, and whatever, it's kind of like those those words ring true, man. You know, I live here, I'll die here, and every time I look around, I I see the dirt roads and the wind roads. You know, that's that's what I grew up seeing. You know. Uh, the old old boy out there turning up, you know, wind rows of hay and, and you know, those dirt rows and whatever. And, you know, I, I see that and I know what life's all about. There you go. Well, again, sir, you may not have intended it to be, but I'm pretty sure that you've at least Important written. To me and I, hope, I hope that everybody else can, can relate to it, man. And I, it's awesome that that got that won the, the you pick the hit. And that's. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and you, again, you you want it, man. You you knocked it out the park. You're uh, you're now in rotation. We're playing it on a regular basis. So again, congratulations to you, sir. You've got you got yourself a big one on the hands, I think. Yeah, man. I, you know, people ask me all the time. They're like, man, how do you define success? Like, you know, for some people, it's playing the Grand Old Opry. They're like, oh, you play the Opry, you made it, or or you know, oh, you sell platinum record, whatever, you know. Yeah, to me, man, I feel like if I could write one song that can influence or affect someone in a positive way, even if it's just one person, man, I, I feel like that, that that's all the success that I really need, man. So, you know, I, I just want to continue to make music that, you know, hardworking, honest people, everyday average Joe can relate to. And, uh, yeah, man, just... Continue to try and bless people and, and uh, affect their lives in a positive way through my music, man, my story. Awesome. Well, J.J., I want to thank you for being with me here. And, again, uh, thanks for taking the time. Now, uh, hopefully you can get back to band practice, get back out on the road, and start spreading the word of country music a little bit more, all right? Yeah, man, I appreciate you having me, man. Take it easy, Ben. <laughs> Everybody knows just where to go when there's bear to get And everybody still drives up that same old hill For their first kiss And old man Wilson, he still don't know His backfield is the party spot When the sun goes down These are my stomping grounds Whoa, these are my stomping grounds have been on Mary and their high school sweethearts And you ain't got enough fingers to count the tractors In our front yards, four-wheel drives are given For getting back and forth in my hometown These are my stomping grounds Hey, I live here, I'll die here And every time I look around See the dirt roads and the wind roads And know the love is all about These are my stomping grounds, yeah Oh, these are my stomping grounds Me and my buddies, we got ourselves a honey hole Back in the pines And ain't it funny how the bucks we missed get bigger Bigger every time I could be a million miles away Or 20 minutes from my house Work for everybody 